guys welcome back to the EOS um well to my basement right now where I'm gonna grab tools for the EOS because as hinted, uh, hinted at in the last video the EGR valve issue came back because the cleaner didn't do anything so I got a new one and this one is made in China because I saw basically there seems to be two price categories the at dealers 80 to 130 euro range with all their suspiciously similar product photos and then like 180 to 300 which is like video and all the clones and all the copies of it or whatever all the probably all the same stuff let's say so so this one i'm going cheap this is straight from china and has suspiciously similar looking product photos like other cheap brands that you have never heard of in stores but it was cheaper than that as i said the cheapest one in the store was like 75 or 80 euros this was 45. <laughs> so i figured i was worth a try you know if it lasts a year you can buy another one in a year and still cheaper so yeah i'm gonna chuck that in there hopefully easily and um we'll see if it works Although uh, before we go and do that, we need to grab some tools. Um, as far as I know, all I need is some Allen 5mm for here and here. I already did those on the Audi when I had to replace the uh, exhaust manifold. Um, then apparently these two on the block are 6mm Allen head, which I don't have in half inch, so I hope they're not all the it's hard on there because I'm gonna have to use either this or quarter inch. Um, but yeah, so those two are six mil, and this is an 18. So yeah, I have plenty of those. I should be able to get to that with an extension from the back because it's in the engine like this, you know. So yeah, and other than that, some hoses here, obviously the plug, and you should be good to go. So Let's find out if it's that easy in the car. Okay, let's have a look at that and let's have a go. Um, I guess I'm gonna start with hoses out of the way. All this stuff back here. You are just a cable. It's an O2 sensor, isn't it? Yes, it is. So. I promise one day I'll get like pliers that are supposed to be used for those hose clamp thingies. Maybe. One day. Audi VW video, so that looks like a stock part. Probably never been off. Why would it? Yeah, man, hosey hosey. Okay, I just undid for this a little bit of extra wiggle room here. So I don't rip it out somewhere. But come on. You're gonna come off, aren't you? Yes, you are. Just a little bit of a coolant dribble there. Should probably also remove this here, for easier stowaway. Come on. One of is gonna. Let's get around here. Perfect. Okay, place one here. Already out of there. Again, just a little bit of play. Now. Clean. Why don't you want to move? This is annoying. Only a little bit, but quite a bit now. It's quite a bit annoying. For fuck's sake. 
This does not want to come off. And now the hose clamp is facing the other way and I can't get to it anymore. Ah, for fuck's sake. Who thought the problem was going to be a hose clamp, huh? Here we go. Jesus. That was way too difficult. There you go. Okay. You go back here. Or did you get lost? Plug wire. Okay, um, I think now I need the 6 mils. No, I do not. I need to take the 5 mils off first, left and right. So, let's see. That's a lot of movement there. Jesus. I'm gonna take forever. Can you stay over there, please? There we go. Still can't hand turn it. Unbelievable. Same thing on the other side. There we go. And number two. Next up, six more. Left and right. Oh. Extension too short, be right back. Okay, you were back. Longer extension. Still a quarter inch, but I think it's fine. Six mil. Let's get in here. Come on. Are you telling me this is too long now? There we go. And let's try to break it loose while, without breaking other things. Can you go over here for a second, please? Yeah. There we go. And there we go. A bracket with a bolt. Okay, number two is even further down on that side. Let's see if we can line that up. And locked in place. Great, but I don't really have a way to move the wrench now. Let's see if a short one is enough to clear this pipe and then move the ratchet. Oh, it's on there. Again, not a whole lot of space. I'll try without the wrench. It's pretty loose. I also broke off this clip here. Oh well. And again, Matt, it is not summer just because the sun is out. And no, not even my British standard because it's like 8 degrees or something or 7 degrees. Not that British standards matter in Germany anyway. Okay, socket. Bolt. Looks pretty good, pretty new ish. Um, and now, all that's left in theory, is, if I'm not mistaken, is the 18 in the middle. So that might be interesting to get to. Let's get this in here for reference. So it's bolt is down right like here. On there. So you just like thread the needle. Maybe not. 
Oh, I think there we go. Well, I think it's loose. Something's loose. Let's get the ratchet out. Spins by hand. Nice. Yep. Things are moving. Extension. Carefully. There we go. So, theory should just lift out now. If this goes away again, for fuck's sake. Uh, are you in the way? Nah. There you go. Get on. There we go. Oh yeah. Ooh. Coolant. Oopsie. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay, let's look at them side by side. On the new and shiny one versus the old and crusty one. You can see where I just scraped with my thumb. Yeah. Nice. It's just a blank hole in there. New one. Old one. Yeah. Let's get the new one in, huh? Shall we? Okay, reverse order, I guess, huh? Shouldn't be too difficult. You go away, you around there. Can then you slide in there? Oh, yeah. Need to make sure the metal gasket's on there. They are. They look good. Just, just pull it gently apart and it slid right in. Nice. I'm going to thread these 5 mil bolts now, while nothing is attached, just to, just to have them in there. Because I don't want to fiddle with that at some point. Later. Yep, there's one. Uh, number two. Come on. There we go. Right in place. Let's do this side. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. And one more. Where's the hole? Oh, there it is. No. Yes? No? Maybe? Ooh. Do not lose that bolt, Thomas. There we go. Okay. Some tense few seconds. Okay, those four are in. Uh, now it's the big 18 and two 6mm elms. So, let's see. Oh, I might already be in. Yep. I'll just leave that extension right there. And I'll do this one. Maybe, somehow. Where are you? Ready to go again? Oh, right there, somewhere. Yep, that's in. And this one with a bracket. Easiest of all, I guess, because it's right here. Yeah, there we go. Let's just get a bit more. 
Uh, well, this one, I guess. It's loosely in there, or hand tight. Now I'm gonna actually tighten the 18 as a primary bolt first. You stupid house. Click. Click. I swear the difficult part is gonna be getting the host clamps back on, probably. Just because. Click. Oh, that was definitely planned. We've got my wrench down there. My ratchet. Where the bloody... Okay. There we go. Um, ratchet is back. I did notice though that the uh, nut on top of the uh, gearbox, the shifter mechanism is loose again. So I'll probably go in and tighten that in a minute here when I'm done with this stuff. Because remember what happened last time. <sighs> okay, let's tighten these up. Click. Basically a click. Come on, give me my socket back. I do not want to lose the socket on the end of me. There you go. And click number two on this side. These bolts want to keep my socket. I can't have it. Two more on that side. And then hoses. Click. Click. And it's all bolted up. Cool. Now that hose, that hose, and plug, and Tidy it up again, I guess. Now, you. That hose clamp. Snap. Yeah, this hose clamp doesn't like me. And I don't like it either. Okay, come here, you fucker. Okay, it's actually on. See, just had to take my jacket off. Don't be stubborn, that's my job. There we go. Snapped right into place. Okay. Let's put this in here. Let's plug that in there. Cool. Also, can we fix that? Come on. Better. So, now I'm gonna get whatever nut that was. I might have to actually remove the, hmm, the air box. But I want to tighten it down down there. Hmm. I'll figure out what size it was. Oh, and I will also get the uh, OBD dongle and delete the code. Okay, let's have a look. Um, well, let's try it underneath this. I might have to actually remove the airbox. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh well. Okay. Those clams, my friends. Who are you? Five mil? Come on, come on over there. Did I have to remove all that last time? Oh, I did it anyway. Hold on. 13, let's make a check first. It's 13 and yes, it's loose. Hand tightening it right now. I wonder can get the ratchet in there the long way backwards and it doesn't have to do any of that. While the ratchet is in and on, I don't know I can move it at all. I would need a fine tooth ratchet right now. 
I don't know, I said next time I'm going to do this, I'm going to put Loctite on it. I don't have any Loctite. Okay. Try it again. So let's put that crap back in. Fucking hell. I have no idea where that went. Shit. This went down. Like, down, down. But not out. Shit. Okay, I'll get a flashlight. My suspicion is... Billy Pan. Which would be really annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on the belly pan. Which on this car is, by the way, aluminum. Um, I think it's aluminum, but it's metal. Um, for rigidity reasons. Um, yeah, I might just get the tool now to get that thing off. Because, yeah. Okay, I'll try to get the front bolts of the pan off, which are funny sized uh, these multi-tooth VZ8 or M8 or whatever you want to call them um, VW special shit so yeah good thing I kept that and bought that for the Audi back then okay all well, these shit things just stripped one of the two stripped but but I just realized they are also six head, uh, hex head, so whatever. 13 maybe? Yeah. Okay, it's coming down a little bit, so I have slight hope for the other side to review my socket. Okay, let's get a flashlight and see if I can see my socket, huh? Not really. I need to undo more. Looks like little torxes. Huh. Okay. Come on, where are you? Show me my socket. I can't see it. Fuck. I think it's not down there. Fuck. Shit. Okay, I buttoned it back up down there because, um, yeah, quite frankly, I don't think I'm going to find that socket anytime soon. And while I would like my Philips 2 back, um, I'm not going to take any more apart just to find that stupid socket. I might just drive the car back and forth a bit to see if it comes back or something. But, um, like if it like spits it out somewhere down there. But no, whatever. Socket gone. That's how it is, huh? Give it to the wrenching gods. Anyway, um... Now I'm going to actually go and delete that coat, and then uh, I'm probably not even going to go for a test drive today. Probably going to do it tomorrow or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah. Deleting coat, test driving, whatever. Okay, I'm in the car. The dongle is plugged in somewhere. Somewhere down there? There you go. Blink, blink. Um, I have the OBD app open. It is still scanning, but it has two faults now. The old one um, was uh, is the same as before, the uh, EGR control circuit, P0403, 
Now I have a new one, P0400, exhaust gas recirculation flow, which is a pending fault, not a current one. Um, interesting. Uh, I'll just clear them all in a second here. Scanning, yep, scanning done, two faults. Clear faults. Okay, clear faults. Okay, beep. Bye bye, faults. Clearing some fault codes may take some time. Well, I mean, I can already see the light is gone, so I'm not too concerned about that. Cool. No logs and uh, no faults. Let's see if something came back right away. Well, pending fault P04000, uh, 0400, powertrain exhaust gas recirculation flow. I don't know. I, I'll just keep an eye on that, I guess. And uh, might have to actually drive a bit, but again, don't think it's going to be today. Okay, well, the sun is long gone, as you can see. Um, everything's getting wet and damp and cold. It's like four degrees or whatever. So, code erased, EGR valve um, replaced. The shifter linkage tight, tent up again. Lost uh, socket. Didn't find it. All in all, a pretty good day on average, I guess. Um, tomorrow I'll see if the code goes uh, stays away and goes away and doesn't come back on all the good things. So, yeah. Until then, see you in a minute.